Hey there YouTubers, welcome back to our Excel VBA is Fun user form series. This is Dan Strong. I'll be your host. Today we're going to continue uh, with our user form here. I believe we called it Hide Form. Uh, today we're going to make a little label here. And a label is nothing more than uh, just that. It's just a label that you can make words appear or you can uh, you can have it go invisible or not depending on the situation uh, as you can see I clicked on the toolbox on the label thing I made one right here and I'm gonna give it a name I'm gonna call it LBL for label uh, we're gonna we're going to generate this based on their employee ID number whether or not they're switched to employee ID first or last name first first and then the employee ID. We're going to capture it either way. We're going to call this LBL EMP ID label employee ID. That way we can identify it later. So every time we switch this combo box or really every time we load it we want to, um, well, well I'll take it back again. Every time uh, a selection is made so a click event probably would be fine or a change event on this box we want it to capture the empl uh, employee ID only right here in this label so that we can use it for other calculations let's go ahead and do that double click on your uh, combo box here which already has uh, it's ready to go with the change event so what we're going to say is um, uh, we're going to get the employee ID number. So if uh, me dot ob, what was the, the, there's two option buttons, ob employee ID and ob name. So if the employee ID equals true, if that one's selected, then we want to go by the employee ID, and uh, so we're going to do a find. So we'll say uh, me dot lbl employee ID equals application dot worksheet function dot find and so the argument one as a string argument two as a string um, it's a lot easier if you're going to do a find to do it in ex the in a cell so equals find and so they give you a little better screen tips so what's the text you're going to find it in there's the cell and then when you hit a comma within another cell and then you can optionally give a start number so let's do that now going back to visual basic menu alt f11 we went so the first thing is what are we looking in we're looking at me.cmb employee and comma and what are we searching for let's search for the space hyphen and that will find us where uh, find where we need to be uh, we could just put the starting position as one. Um, I might just leave that blank. Let's see what let's see what what this gives us so far. Do an end if so you can debug through. I'm going to hit F8. Well, it needs to. Well, let's hit it. Let's see. Hmm. We'll put a start marker right there. We're clicking right there. That way, we can uh, rush through all the other code. Let's click here. Guy or fake guy 16 030942. I'm gonna click it there and uh, labels empty so far, but we're looking for the space hyphen in dot CMB employee. It looks like it'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe eighth position. Let's uh, let's click this F8. All right, they didn't like that. Let's put a comma one. Maybe starting on the first position. Okay, well, something I'm doing wrong here. Let's see. Searching for a space comma. Hmm. Uh, okay, I think we need to switch these. We're supposed to do the find text within the other text. So we're supposed to find this within this. Um, so let's take this optional if thing here. And I'm going to hit F8 and see where it left us. Okay, so that was position number 7. Um, and obviously in this, there's 030942. And then a space. That would put you at this, this seventh position. And I think we're wanting to capture 
the leftmost portion of this up to the 6 character. So we'll take that minus 1, so it'll be 6. Um, and in fact, we don't want to label... Let's see. We're going to take left of me.cmb employee. And I put a comma there because this is how many characters we need to go to the left. 7 minus 1, so 6. That should give you your actual label. So hit F8. Uh, there, okay, that's the employee ID number. Now, that's only if they have it sorted by employee ID. Otherwise, um, the label is going to be a little bit more complicated, I guess. Uh, let's try this. Equals left no well let's let's just do the first part here well okay there's a there's a tricky way and that seems like I'm trying to do that um, and then there's an easy way we know that every employee ID number in our particular database uh, is exactly six digits long so I'm just gonna cheat for now um, and just gonna say we're gonna go to the left of me.cmb employee comma well we can leave that there but then this part is going to be left of me.cmb employee comma and it's always going to be six and pardon me I meant the rightmost six characters not the leftmost if it's sorted by the name so see how that how that works here I'm going to uh, reload this form and I'm going to click on let's click on Duane Shelley and I'm going to hit F5 okay so there's our label right there and it looks just look like regular text oh three four three four eight now what if I switch it to the name and I click on Shaka Zulu it's going to take the rightmost six characters, which would be 055555. And there's my label. So I'm going to hit up and down. Now if I switch it to employee ID, I'm going to take that marker off here. Just let it do its thing. Well, they're not being very pleasant, are they? Okay, well, I'm, I'm tired of looking at that stuff. I'm going to cheat for now. We want the sixth leftmost. Oh, well, that's what happened. Control Z. Um, if it's blank, let's put a condition here. If me.cmb employee equals blank or double quotes, then let's just uh, exit sub and if. So if it's empty, exit sub. And be done with it. So that's a lot easier, isn't it? Let's click here on firsty last name. I'm going to click down and up with my arrow key here. And if I switch over to name, we see that I can do just that. And it's always keeping up, regardless if this is on the right or on the left. And we'll be able to use that um, employee ID number exclusively to look up other things later on. So uh, thanks for watching.